Hello, and welcome back to the Wolf's Den. We are the Order of the Green Hand, here today to break down the new Season 8 trailer. Perhaps due to the series' somewhat embarrassing track record of plot leaks, this two-minute trailer offered to us by HBO, while epic, gives away very little. But since it wouldn't be any fun whatsoever to be the only ones not overanalyzing every one of these 108 seconds of this very summer blockbuster-like trailer, we decided to join the party and do just that. So, let's do this. The opening sequence shows Arya running through the halls of Winterfell seemingly with an enemy hard on her heels, with a voiceover from the she-wolf herself, where she tells us she's very familiar with all the faces of death, and that she's looking forward to seeing what these dragon glass daggers can do. In this scene, Arya is covered in blood, which seems to indicate that this is well into the battle at Winterfell that we see gearing up later in the trailer and takes place at a point where the enemies are inside the walls. I can't tell what's chasing her, but there is a moment where it appears there might be an other slash white walker, or the cold mist that accompanies them, shining in the moonlight behind her. We then hear Santa Brand telling someone that everything they've ever done brought them to where they are now, where they belong, home. That seems as though it must be directed to either John or Arya. The fact that Sam is part of the conversation seems to point to John, but the content of what he said would probably make more sense if it was Arya, since she has been on as long a journey as any and is finally home. That and the fact that the show has made John a Targaryen, which would seem to make his place that he would belong Dragonstone or King's Landing, not Winterfell. But who knows? Then, we see a very satisfied Cersei, which likely means she's very pleased with the Golden Company's arrival in King's Landing. It appears that they are led by this guy, who looks a little like a combination of Jaime and Brienne from behind. But in truth, this is the actor Mark Brisman, who is playing Harry Strickland in the upcoming season. In the books, Harry looks nothing like the Jamie doppelganger Mark seems to be portraying. But hey, maybe they wanted to give Cersei a new romance. And since one of the things she loved best about Jamie was the fact that he looked like her, I'm going to assume that's why D&D &D elected to change his appearance so drastically. Next, we see John and Danny's arrival at Winterfell. Danny played this well politically and did not show up on Dragonback, looking like a conqueror, but instead showed up riding side by side with John, the king in the north. Then we see John and the Crips, presumably standing in front of Lyanna's tomb, and Danny shows up and gives him the I know you think it's gross that you just impregnated your aunt look, while we get a Jon Snow voiceover explaining the monumental task that's ahead of them. Then we see Gendry working as a smith again, Will his Tobomont training come into play here? Is he making or remaking Valyrian steel? Probably not, but it'd be really cool if he was. Then we see what is presumably the epic battle at Winterfell, with Brienne kicking ass and taking names, and Jaime urging the troops to keep fighting. Next, we get the only truly foreshadowing moment in this trailer. Cersei with tears in her eyes, followed by Jamie's pledge to fight for the living. This seems likely to be her reaction to learning of Jamie's death while fighting the army of the dead, which, I must admit, will be extremely upsetting if and when it happens. Then we see Grey Worm gearing up for battle and putting his helmet on. A few flashby scenes from the epic battle for the dawn to come, and Danny and John approaching the dragons. This seems likely to be the moment John becomes a dragon rider, while Sansa looks on in wonderment. Then we see Arya Simeon starizing, fighting with what I hope is a staff that has dragon glass spearheads on each end. And the trailer ends by showing us the moments that immediately precede the battle for the dawn. 
I must admit that I'm a little confused by the tactics the living are employing here. They're outside the walls of Winterfell for some reason, which doesn't seem like a good idea. It makes me think that a lot of the characters we've all come to love over the years are going to die. But we hope you enjoyed our trailer breakdown, and in the coming weeks, look out for more Season 8 prediction videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.